just gonna roll, bro. You know, I made the decision to resign based on a week of prayerful reflection and fasting and talking to my wife and my, my very closest advisors. And I, I, I came to the conclusion again and again that, that I had no choice but to resign, although it was something that I didn't, you know, necessarily relish the thought of I, I I had no choice but to to do what I did and I have to tell you I'm I'm a little frightened and you know me pretty good Andre you know I you know I, I don't scare easy man I've been kicking doors for a long time but I have to say that I've been you know I'm a little frightened by where I am right now but I'm confident you understand it's a weird sort of combination of emotions and feelings because I know I did the right thing. I know I did the right thing. I've never been so sure in my life that I did the right thing. And I have faith, so I'm confident that God will reward me for, for, for living at least that moment of my life based on the Christian principles of, of courage and faith that, that we that we espouse as we try to be good men. And, and, you know, I'm no priest, man. You know, it's, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a regular guy. I ride Harleys and shoot guns and drink whiskey. Do you understand? I, I'm, a, I'm a regular American man, and, and I don't always do the right thing. So it's very important and crucial for me and my family right now that that I really focus on doing the right thing at this juncture in my life. It's, it's, it's crucial. And I, I could still have my job right now. You know, I, I could have, I could have uh, bowed to the sheriff's commands and, and joined him in retreat from the forces of evil. And I could still have my paycheck. But my, my family would not be better off because the husband that they believe in and the father that they have come to love and respect would have fallen.